Factor IPS, that's short for Insurance Product System, is a tool for modelling of insurance products. Factor IPS was developed by Factor Zin as a modern product system based on Java technology and made available as open source software. Factor IPS has been in productive use for several years. In this demonstration, I will show how Factor IPS, together with flexible operative systems, excels through its high level of productivity in product development. Here we see a Factor IPS system context by way of example. The operative systems of an insurance organization, for instance the policy management system or the sales support system, use the product logic provided by the Factor IPS product server. The product model and the specific products are managed through Factor IPS. I will use an example to illustrate the definition of specific products and the interaction with operative systems. In our example, we will use a simple insurance calculator in place of a sales support system. On the basis of a simplified product model for home contents insurance, two specific products have been defined in Factor IPS. I will start by demonstrating the insurance calculator, and in doing so I will explain at which points the calculations are influenced by the product data. Then we will take a look at the definition of a product in Factor IPS. So, let's make a start by taking a closer look at the insurance calculator. Clicking on New, we can create a new quote. In addition to the name for the quote, we are asked for a start date of the contract. And this is where our product data comes in for the first time. Based on the start date of the contract, the products that are valid on that particular date are displayed, and we can select a product from this list. In our example, we can choose between Home Contents Compact and Home Contents Optimal. First, I'm going to choose the product Home Contents Compact, for which I want to generate a quote. Here you can see the input screen for the quote. The title at the top shows the selected product, Home Contents Compact. In the dialog box, we can enter the zip code of the insured home. The rating district for this zip code is then determined. This rating district defines the various risk areas, and thereby assesses, for instance, the risk of storm damage or the risk of burglaries occurring. Thus, the rating district impacts on the calculation of the insurance premium. Hanover, in our example, is located in a mid-level rating zone 3. Next, I enter the size of my living space. I am then shown the proposed sum insured. In this case, our product, Home Contents Compact, proposes a sum insured of 650 euros per square meter. Multiplied by the living space, we arrive at a proposed total sum insured of 58,500 euros. If required, we can still deviate from this in the next section. For demonstration purposes only, I will increase the living space to 900 square meters. I don't know about you, but for me this is an astronomical value, but as you can see, the application clearly does not agree with my input. The value I have entered lies outside the allowable range, as defined by the product. Therefore, I will restore the previous value of 90 square meters. In the middle of the dialog box, we can see the coverages which describe the scope of coverage. First of all, there is the base coverage. This is mandatory and can therefore not be disabled. In addition to the base coverage, we are given the option here to add extra coverages in order to extend the insurance protection. The number of extra coverages, the calculation of their sums insured and insurance premiums, as well as the choice of whether these are optional or mandatory, are all part of the product definition. In the lower part of the screen, we can now see the premium that has been calculated. First, the annual net premium of the various components of the coverage are totaled up. Next, I can choose payment by installments. The payment methods on offer depend, once more, on the type of product. I choose biannual, and the resulting net and gross premiums are displayed for me. So much for the insurance calculator. Now let us look at how the corresponding products look in Factor IPS.
This is the product definition environment in Factor IPS. Here on the left, in the Product Definition Explorer, we find our products Home Contents Compact and Home Contents Optimal. These are product components on which I can double-click in order to view and edit them in the editor. This is what I'm going to do now with the component for the product Home Contents Compact. In the editor, we now see the attributes of the product. Here we find the name of the product again and the proposal for the sum insured per square metre. In the section Defaults and Value Sets, the permissible and default values for Payment Method, Living Space and Sum Insured are defined. The Payment Method is restricted to the values 1 for Annual and 2 for Biannual, and the default value is 1. The Living Space is limited to a range of between 0 to 200 square metres. The sum insured has to lie within a range of 10,000 euros minimum to 10 million euros maximum. A step or increment of 50 means that the sum must be divisible by 50. There is no default value defined for the sum insured. As we've seen above, the default value is automatically set in accordance with the proposal of the sum insured. The product component has associations with other components which configure the possible scope of coverage for this product. In our case, our product is associated with the base coverage, recognisable by the D icon, as well as the extra coverages bicycle theft and over-voltage damage, recognisable by the plus icon. If I highlight the components, I can see the cardinality of the association and any default. Here you can determine how often the components may be instantiated within a contract. The product component for the base coverage is marked as mandatory, the two extra coverages as optional. We saw this reflected in the respective checkboxes in the insurance calculator. From here, I can also open the various components directly in order to view and edit them. First, let's take a look at the base coverage. As well as the name, down here, we see a reference to the rate table. Here, a table is assigned to the product component, which I'm going to look at now. This is the rate table for the compact rate. In this table, each rating district has a corresponding rate, which is used to calculate the insurance premium. We can see from the values that the rate increases in line with the rating district. So much for the base coverage. Now we will take a look at the extra coverages. The extra coverage is called Bicycle Theft. The next field, Sum Insured Factor, shows the factor which is applied to calculate the sum insured of the extra coverage in relation to the sum insured of the base coverage. In this case, the sum insured of the extra coverage amounts to 1% of the base coverage. In the field Maximum Sum Insured, the sum insured can be capped, so in this case, 1% of the base coverage capped at €3,000. The attributes are defined in the model. The description can be found here on the right in the Model Description view. At the bottom of the editor, we now see the formula for the calculation of the annual premium of this extra coverage. The formula is written in an Excel-like syntax. For our bicycle theft coverage, the premium is calculated by multiplying the sum insured of the coverage by 0.05. Now, we've seen the way the product Home Contents Compact, which was used in the insurance calculator, looks in Factor IPS. In order to show how easily and efficiently products can be created with Factor IPS, in part two of this demonstration, I will create and edit a new product. I will also generate a quote with the help of the insurance calculator.